Hello, welcome to a new video. This one is also made for Pixel Daily's theme. This time the theme was Glade. And after doing a bit of search online, I found out what it was because I didn't know the meaning of the word. Um, so I decided to make a scene in which the composition gets uh, taken on a swirl. So you start on your top left corner and then you look down and are brought back up to the, uh, at least to the left, sort of center left. And this is my sketch for the environment that I want. And what I like to do when creating a landscape like this is I like to create a base color that kind of has the mood that I want for the image. So if it's a happy image, if it's a warm image, I like to use kind of warm colors, bright oranges, red, stuff like that. In this case, I wanted something to be a little bit gloomy, sort of like a uh, sort of a delic place or a melancholy place, but the idea was that I started off with this green uh, with a bit of tint of yellow and then I create the shadow for the trunk right there because it's really close to the camera and then what that bright color is going to be is going to be my uh, sort of my place to, to put in the elements uh, that will draw the eye in the end uh, sort of uh, lastly so basically you start off and you do a bit of a swirl back now to keep the the viewer from looking too far into the corners, I add these shapes, which are going to be bushes in the end. And I'm playing around with these colors. Now for the trunks, what you don't really see now is that these are actually kind of purple, purple gray colors. And I'm sort of trying to figure out how I'm going to do the depth for the scene. Because when something has these many elements, if you don't get the depth correctly, it just might end up like a wallpaper or a pattern that doesn't really convey any sort of space. And that's why I'm sort of obsessed with the idea of doing this in layers and, and gradually making the colors brighter. Because if I make the colors gradually brighter, they will start being drawn to that hot spot, to that bright uh, place there at the left center. And if I do that, if I'm successful in doing that, it, it'll create the, the idea of transition, of movement towards that place. So it gives an idea of space, of two-dimensionality space. Now, for the lighting, I decided to have uh, like a late afternoon sunlight by which the uh, sun is going to be off to the side, a little bit to the, to the top diagonal. And that's going to allow me to add in some god rays in the end. Uh, and I also tint those lights a little bit more towards the orange uh, rather than just uh, a, a sort of yellowish green, which was what it was initially. Now I put in this, uh, it's not really bark texture because I'm really just sketching things in, but it's it's kind of useful because it creates it, it, the, um, the palette itself. It gives you a nice notion of what your color range is going to be. And in this case here, I'm doing some grass with some noise by using a, a brush that I have set up on Photoshop, which is really not complicated, but it just creates basically vertical lines and there I was just making colors to create that second step of of color further down in this what would be a path through the forest uh, these shapes uh, that I drew just going to convey the the idea of canopy and are going to help me to, to start laying out the terrain because right now it's still a little bit clumsy uh, I mean the composition is kind of there you're constantly drawn back from the the big tree trunk on the left to the right side, you, you, you have that sort of swirling uh, motion and, and composition is something that I always struggled with uh, starting out and I'm by no means an expert, but I, at least now I take a deliberate approach to it. I try things. Uh, I don't just let the drawing draw itself. I actually try and place things at where I want them to, to, to be in order to try and convey a, a different composition. And that sort of changes your approach to, to developing pieces. You're not anymore just, I'll, I want to draw this or I want to draw that. You actually take a, a moment to think about what people will uh, do when they look at your, your images. So to the right there, what we have is a, a basically a grass hill going up to the right. And I add some tree trunks there and some uh, canopy, some leaves to give an idea that that's going to be really dark. That was me just adding a little bit more grass, uh, again, to convey the same lighting as I have on the right. Because on the left there, on the near plane where the tree trunk is, there's a little bit of brighter grass, right? And this is this is me just talking about how I want to add pools of light in the end. Which in the end, I, I, I end up not doing pools of light everywhere. I just do it on the grass that is further away. Uh, but the idea is that you... Um, 
you convey the same lighting throughout the scene so that you get that notion that um, these objects are all the same and they have different colors just because they have different lighting conditions. So for example, the grass uh, is a little, um, or sorry, the, the trees are a little greener because they're not getting the direct light from the sun. They're getting the light reflected from the grass up onto the trees. Uh, and that's why uh, they aren't as brown or as, 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 uh, as you would see. The adding that that extra layer there of detail really helps create steps in the um, in the depth of the this forest scene, almost like if you're going through a tunnel. Now the the colors themselves are not in the correct contrast. I think the 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 range of colors is okay, but some of them are actually too dark, close to the other ones, and I want to fix that. As you might have uh, already seen, right now I'm not really taking that much care. Of using pure pixel art techniques you know by deliberately placing all the pixels and being really careful i'm actually sketching in the drawing i'm just making sure that i'm using one pixel brush with no soft uh, brushes uh, at all just a hard edge pencil brush to keep the look sharp but there's really no uh, complicated decision about size that i'm making I'm, I'm really just painting with no constraints and i suppose that i could do this uh, in other formats like digital painting for example but I just feel that this is this, this sort of charm with pixel art and, and how much there is reminds me of old uh, video game backgrounds. I think, uh, I think it's more what, what it does than um, just giving me a, another chance to do an illustration, which, you know, is not really um, something that's going to, to make me interested in doing this. On the bottom here, I'm adding a little bit of bathes of grass. And the idea is that they have these bright highlights so that you look there. That's all it's doing. It's for you to look down the trunk, fix your eyes there, and then be drawn back up to the uh, to the uh, lighter center of the image. But I'm still going to add detail on the bush on the right so that you you get drawn back to the bush and then to the tree trunks that I'm painting right right now, and then back onto the uh, onto the center of the image. I'm showing here also that we can use layer styles afterwards or uh, layer adjustments afterwards to. Uh, to change the palette, change the tone of the image, actually uh, adjustment layers, not layer adjustments. Uh, and these can be done if you have a good enough palette and if you feel comfortable in the colors that you've chosen, you can go ahead and try different moods. I mean, there's no, there's no stopping you from making this a little warmer or darker. So on a new layer here, what I'm doing is I'm adding leaves uh, to close up branches. And this allows me to put in some really bright leaves uh, which suggests that they're getting some sunlight. And it's interesting because then you get this, uh, this effect of um, overdrawing on the, the images that you already had or the parts of the image that you already had, which is not only um, a way to add more layers and more information, but also uh, gives a sense of more density, that there's more elements and that things are coming alive a little bit better. And I started out, I'll, I'll admit that I started out fairly um, scared with this drawing because I wasn't really feeling it. It was coming out well. And as I started adding these leaves, it kind of came together almost like the rug in Big Lebowski, but it came really, it really um, helped the, the image. So again, I, I was going for this kind of painterly, almost like a, a classic painting look. Um, I think some of the parts of the image have that element of almost like a classical painting. Uh, but overall, I just really wanted to follow the theme and try a, a cool composition. I do the same thing here on the uh, on the near trunk with the leaves, getting some sunlight. But because they're so close, uh, I kind of feel that they don't really shade well, and it almost almost looks like it's too it's too exaggerated. So I have to do a few really bright and then a few really dark. I have to kind of play around with the directions of the leaves and I also take the, the, the highlight tone down a little bit. Now I've made a mistake that I painted over the background and I kind of ignore it because I'm looking everywhere else except for there. And then at the end it pops up to bite me. Um, but basically just by doing that, I'm cutting the eyesight of, uh, of people. They're, they're not gonna go through the leaves, they're gonna go through the trunk. They're gonna look at the leaves, they're gonna go through the trunk look back at the uh, at the bush and then look back at the center. The God rays effect is basically just me copying the whole layers and then making the levels on that piece of layer a little bit brighter and then just picking this brighter green here and paint it on that specific area. 
uh, the, I think the direction that I'm choosing for the sun isn't 100% correct with the light that I've put on the trees. I think it should be a little lower. But that would be a lot more pieces of layers to cut through. And I was really not um, confident that I would be able to do it in the time that I've set myself to do it, which is sort of an hour. This, is, this was about 45 minutes. Uh, but again, it's so scribbly and it's basically just a speed paint. Uh, it's almost not uh, pixel art in the true sense. So I'm adding here some kind of realistic cuts to the bush, which I'm basically opening it up, drawing the branches and then drawing the leaves to sort of have it be a bit more realistic in terms of what it looks like and how it's supposed to be. So this is the complete image. Uh, it came out really nice. I was happy with this. And uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and learned something. So um, take care of yourselves. Goodbye.